follow Swing to App users. Swing to App provides two types of prototypes for web app named as Push Only and Web View Only. Today we'll cover Guide for Web App Push Only Prototype. The purpose of this guide is to show you how easily you can create a web app with Swing to App in just three steps without any coding knowledge. Let us start with creating a new app. First click on this add button to select the app type. Since we're making a web app, we'll go with the create web app option. To move forward, click on the next button. If any time you wish to modify, you can always click on the previous button and change it. In this step, you need to enter your website's URL. Some users might not be able to see their website on our virtual screen. It happens because of privacy policy, but do not worry about it. Once you install the app on your mobile, you'll be able to view your website without any issues. Since we're creating push-only web app, we'll select yes and send push option. Toolbar is additional feature that you can have in your web app. It's not required, but optional. I'll keep it selected to show you what difference it makes to your web app. Now let's move to the next screen. Here you need to set your app name, icon, and splash screen. To upload image, click on the upload button. Here you'll be presented with four options. Upload image button, as its name states it lets you upload the image. If you wish to crop, flip, rotate, or want to do any minor changes in your image, click on the edit image button. If you're not satisfied with the uploaded image, click on the delete image button, and then re-upload new image. Use refresh button if the image is not loading properly, which will rarely happen. Once you're satisfied with your uploaded image, click on the apply button. Our recommended size for ICANN image is 1024 for both sides and for splash screen it's 2282 for both sides. We have completed basic requirement of push only web app. You can stop your app creation here, or you can go through other features and options to customize your web app to make it more user friendly. Among these three stages, each step has additional options and features available which can help you bring your web app to life. Let's start with step one basic. Earlier we filled all information, only thing left is app ID. So let's fill it and move to the next step. In the step to prototype, you can switch between push only and web view only prototype. Since we are creating push only web app, so we'll stick with the push prototype. On this step, you can set basic and advanced style options. Under basic style toolbar, you can choose to have or remove toolbar from your app. Here you can see how your web app will look with and without toolbar. The auto hide feature will hide toolbar when user scrolls down. Let's see what options we will get under web view. Here you can choose to set pull to refresh option. This is how pull to refresh works. With help of top button at bottom, you can jump scroll to top. Let's see out how it works. Once you're done with basic style settings, move to the advanced style to customize color of the toolbar. When you'll change the background color of the toolbar, this part of the toolbar will change its color, whereas the background color of the menu list and text of the menu list can be changed here. After you're satisfied with the changes, click on save button. Let's move to last step, step three page. To modify toolbar settings, click on any of the toolbar menus and to change the URL of web app, click on the home option. Let's start with home option. Here you can set your main web app link and first run URL link. It is optional to set the first URL. Let's see how the web app will look when the first URL link is applied. Now let's see how we can customize toolbar menu. Click on toolbar menu to open its setting. With toolbar, you can set options available on toolbar and with menu, you can set menu list of the toolbar. Let's start editing toolbar options first. If you want to add new toolbar menu, click on the add button and to delete menu, click on delete button. Here you can set menu active and an active icon. You can choose icons from swing to app icons list, or you can upload your own icons. To upload custom icons, click on upload button and upload icons image. Our recommended icon images, square image with 22 to 512 pixels. On virtual screen, you can see how your icons will appear in your web app. From page design settings, you can apply features to your toolbar menu. Starting with basic feature, we get page and function option. Let us first explore page option. In page, we get four features. Let's see what's their purpose and how they'll look in our app. Starting with menu, it's to see menu list. Bookmark list to see list of bookmark pages. It looks like this. Notification list shows list of notification. And lastly, settings option will take you to the web app settings. 
In settings, you get multiple options like to turn of notification, check bookmark, notification list, and more. To apply any of this option, first select menu, then click on apply button. Don't forget to click on the save button. Let's see what options we get under function and how they'll look in our web app. Back and forward option will let you go back and forth in your web app. Bookmark option will let you bookmark pages. Home screen option will take you to the home screen from no matter on what page you are. You can refresh your web app with help of refresh button. And lastly, share option lets you share page of the web app. Page template, image page, and HTML page feature are for those who wish to link page in the web app. Here's the example of how page template will appear in the web app. If you want to know more about these features, check out our tutorial video. Lastly, we have the weblink feature. Within weblink, you'll get four different options. You can link your web app toolbar and menu list with the website, phone number, text message, and email. For the menu list, the modification process is the same as the toolbar. One added feature is that you can change the name of the menu of the menu list. Once you're satisfied with your app creation, Click on the Save button and finish it with clicking on the App Creation button. Within 15 minutes, you'll receive a PK file, which you can install on your mobile to test your web app. You can always modify your web app. Just go on the Maker V page and click on the Update button. Our web app is ready, but there's still one thing remaining, and that's push notification. Let's see how you can create and send push notification to your web app users. The Swing to App Push Notification settings can be found on the Manager tab, so let's go there. On the Manager page, go to Push and Members option. Here you can see all setting related to push notification. To create push notification, click on the Send Push option. In Step 1 Basic Settings, you can send push notifications on basis of the device platform or specific to the user and user group. You can also set reservation and repeat settings for your push notification. In Step 2 Send Push, you can set title, description, and image of your notification. Click on Link Wizard button to link your notification with different features. If you want, you can also send SMS to your users. Once you're satisfied with your notification, click on the Send Push button. This is how push notification will appear on your web app. Now let's explore rest of the settings of the push notification. Under Push History option, you can check notification status, modify, and delete notification. Lastly, with Push Device Management, you can set test device for push notification testing purpose. The description includes all important guide links, so be sure to check it out. Swing to App Team is always working on adding new features to satisfy our users and to make Swing to App a better platform. So let us know in the comments how you feel about the new Swing to App Maker V3 platform. Stay tuned for more in-depth videos at what Swing to App has to offer. Thanks for watching.